This is Abraham Joff, Director and DP, and I'm taking you through some of the images we recently captured with our drones in Svalbard in the high Arctic. What you're looking at here is a frozen world filmed in January, the heart of winter, uh, where temperatures were getting down to minus 29 degrees Celsius. We were here to capture the photographer you can see here on the ridgeline, Joshua Holko. And uh, this magnificent landscape is, is so desolate. There's not a piece of human evidence except for our snowmobiles. And obviously drones are, was the ultimate way to capture such a landscape. It really was one of those locations where you, you just can't fl stop flying. And we, we did very well. Um, the temperatures were down to minus 29 degrees Celsius. And with the help of hand warmers, which we wrapped around the batteries, we were able to keep our batteries warm. We kept them within our jackets on our bodies. And we were spending up to 14 hours a day out in this landscape in very, very, very cold conditions, but we were still able to fly. I like these really subtle moves with the drones just sort of really wrapping around, nothing too aggressive, and just you know, let the landscape speak for itself. And now here I love that Josh is such so small in the frame. He's just careering down the top of this glacier uh, on our way out to look for polar bears. And I think this shot really demonstrates the vastness of this landscape. And here we are flying above a frozen sea. This, the bottom, the ground here is actually uh, frozen water. And what you have in the background is a enormous glacier, which we got up closer to. And uh, just got some beautiful shots here in the afternoon. All that blue that's popping out of the glacier is really evident with that, uh, with that golden light. I love this shot here where we see the, the deep crevasses in the top of the glacier and we're just booming over the top to reveal Josh on his snowmobile riding along the frozen sea. It's just, you know, it speaks for itself. It's a pretty, pretty dramatic landscape. Here's some beautiful afternoon light, the sun, just a little orb popping through those clouds as Josh is sort of exploring uh, this little ravine here. Flying along, I can see the drone at this point and as I went around the bend, I'm actually losing line of sight, but I was able to keep the drone in the middle of the ravine and, and keep the shot going. It's always nice to get variety in your shots. You can cut multiple drone shots together if you have variety of angle and composition. So I think it's very important not just to get the big dramatic wides, but also to, uh, to think differently, give yourself options, and you'll really be rewarded when it comes to the edit.